Alright guys, so what's up though? I'm finally back though today. Got a really quick fucking market here while I want to do though. Really quick. Um, kind of a weird one though, because um, I kind of just did a perfected video not too long ago, a few days ago, on this recording. Um, again, I don't know when we we'll upload these videos so. though. We got some really good stuff though. We got a goat. We actually caught some of them, because we all thought I was going to catch it. No, a um, goat caught it. And I was like, okay, it's kind of weird because you know it's using extra things. But yeah, um, they you know everybody's still going around. You can catch a grookey and stuff like that, of course, you know, because there's a big rumor. We've been going around for the last couple of months. Um, yeah, of course, we got the Japanese image down there, of course, it's catching here and stuff like that. This latest episode, I'm gonna go for it quick, which it's gonna take too long, 9 minutes, 50 seconds. Like, it'll be the Korean video and my far fetch video that I do. I covered them about, what, 9 minutes, 50, 50 seconds, so I was like, I'm gonna try to go over a little bit of time today. But yeah, um, again, that just makes you want to do episode reviews slash this video. Because I do kind of like going over this stuff, talking about it and going over and breaking it down. Because the whole point of this episode is just, it's got weird, because we go off from the last episode, literally, like, the last episode. Now that I up here, so yeah, I'm gonna just come out. I'm gonna go over every episode. Let's give me a little bit. I'm gonna go over every episode that comes out. I'm gonna just go over you know, specific ones that I um, find that are um, fascinating for me. But uh, again, I just don't want to go over every single, single absolute episode. So this is gonna take forever. That's gonna be kind of tiring a lot. Just doing that kind of like almost every week. But yeah, I mean, I'll probably do some here and there. Maybe I don't know. So I mean, someone that kind of piqued my interest. But yeah, the Go Catching Top episode, pretty good though. Um, I saw like um, it though. It's weird because Go just like weirdly just catches it though. Because I'm also like the trailers and stuff like that. Of course, a mysterious Pokemon that like, girl emo. Team Yo Girl probably is gonna have in the future, even though, you know, we can choose clone or a But yeah, they go ahead and hit the video though. Really though. But yeah, episode starts out with them, you know, killing, eating, and stuff like that, like they always usually do. Um, but yeah, they don't think someone just um, can't have a girl too and stuff like that. It's just like, you know what, let's just, you know, go on to that episode. But yeah. Um, yeah, you know, just I think Salva just didn't all the food now that that guy um, kinda of gets cornered, kinda of sad, stuff like that, like it's it is. I'm mad that everybody starts crying, I guess like you know, the tears and starts to tears and stuff like that. Everybody just starts going full on depression crying mode. Um even um ashes and even go um bar are kinda of going insane as well. But yeah, I'm mad that it has um so just head off to you know, um, go and the last trying to discover the Ndidi or you know, indeed, I was calling indeed and both of the accidents I think I have to hear. Um yeah, um, them discovering it for the first time in the male and female form, um, stuff like that. That's female form, that's male form, things like that. I like the male movement is more powerful, a lot of female, it's more, you know, nice stuff like that. Um, but yeah, um, it is male and female form. I kind of is like, you know, male thinking, you know, like male thing on the outside, essentially. And that's how it's kind of covered and stuff like that. But yeah, um, you know, go, um, scanning the fucking nuts and stuff like that, you know, because, um, they are essentially the healers, like, you know, the destroy helpers of the series. So that's pretty good, though. Um, that's that, I'm gonna say, um, you know, I think they're probably just playing solid stuff like that, you know, like bringing trainers and stuff like that. Um, which, I mean, you know, and they always kind of go back to point. Everybody's always like in the series, like, oh, how can we get starters in the wild, Hypersonic? Uh, Hyper, how can we catch, uh, how can people catch, as uh, you his friends catch, um, stars in the wild, but they're not actually in the wild because, you know, um, you know, in the series, even like Black and White kind of explained it more that um, actually Black and White kind of went a little bit too ahead in his uh, basically going around saying, you know, trainers actually abandoned their starters, you know, Forky, and X Y was abandoned. Um, you know, it never really abandoned, it just got brought back a lot because, you know, didn't listen, and that was kind of more of a different thing. But otherwise, you know, Snivy definitely got abandoned by the trainers. So yeah, they kind of apply on that. But Simon, we never really got a backstory for that. Well, they could have done that for a while, so even though they did Tepic, in my opinion, you know, I thought they could have done for Snivy, let it all be the Sorbine. Um, because I do like Sorbine's design and stuff like that. But yeah, or not as superior to I mean, you know, it's the beast. I mean, I guess, you know, that's not even like a girl or something like that. Of course. But you know, go on the front of your friends and stuff like that. It actually just randomly catches it. It actually just hits it and just catches it. It's like, um, okay, that's kind of a thing though there. And of course, you know, Team Rocket doing the usual thing to stop the Pikachu. I think he's going for seven. That, that, you know, going to the Pokedex as well and stuff like that. Of course, you know, and then we got another Pokemon that goes near body catch. But yeah, um, actually go probably probably trying to catch each other. I've got the name of it. I, I want to call him the Copper Lead because, you know, this is your kind of watch. Your kind of Copper Lead. You kind of remarks me of that. So I'm going to call him Copper Lead if I ever nickname him. I, I never really nicknamed him a Pokemon. I don't think he's like right now, in my opinion. Though. But yeah, the ghost catches out. It's almost, you know, power stuff like that. But it kind of turns around. I was like, okay, I'm kind of sad. But then it starts, you know, kind of pounding on Copper Lead's um, son in a way. But yeah, I'm truly changing with him and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's almost kind of like more of like a little bit of a car beat. I mean, we kind of put them on though, you know, it's like everybody's just super sad around it. I had depression, but everybody's always kind of super sad around it and stuff like that. <laughs> everybody just starts crying this whole episode. It's kind of annoying a little bit though, but um, it just, 
excuse me though, yeah, I kind of have another doesn't work here, so I'm kind of getting the perks up in here. Yeah, of course, I just walk and grab the two for top ones, so I'll probably actually work here. It's pretty sad. Then go find like exit, you know, finally finds it and stuff like that. Before, so then I'm trying to avoid like, you know, this old sadness, give me stuff like that for a fucking mind. Um, oh crap, Mr. Mind, holy crap. It's in there just give me game though. But yeah, of course, uh, you know, it's typical little stuff like that. Um, you know. Um, then the Team Rock, you know, kind of comes in doing the Team Rock thing, you know, having their break and stuff like that. And that, you know, Pikachu is clones of Team Rock comes up, you know, um, a certain, you know, somebody, you know, Pokemon. I'm not gonna say her name. I think it's like Merlin or Merlin. I like our Merlin. I mean, um, yeah, of course, you know, they actually find, you know, soft ones and stuff like that. Um, they, you know, they're trying to get out of seal and stuff like that. Team, typical Team Rock gimmick and, and stuff like that. They go go and actually kind of worry, you know, those kinds of mind, you know, his head and stuff like that. I was like, okay, we'll find them and stuff like that. Yeah, and then Team Rocket comes out with the whole intro and everything. Um, typical stuff. Oh, look at their dad over here. I don't know that. That image right there. Look at their daddy. So, of course, you know, um, typical Team Rocket can and stuff like that. He's in the crank the time machine, I mean, Pokemon. Who's the solve one of the caves that they usually do, though? Um, you know, even though they don't know about the whole, it's all crying and making stuff like that. Um, you make them cry and stuff like that, you know. Like that, they pull out the crank the time machine, I mean, um, Poke Stop machine, you know, using Team Rocket's, uh, using the outside. Oh, I thought that I'm a little interrupted right there. That's kind of cool. Um, you know, using their typical Team Rocket thing, you know. Um, you know, them battling and stuff like that, you know, um, getting like random Pokemon. It's weird, because, you know, Jesse already has, you know, the, um, Pokemon that I think Nessa, or Nessie has, um, Nessa has, you know, Jim Lee from the, um, social games, um, stuff like that. Um, you know, Sobbles, you know, little usual cry games, kind of making them, like, you know, kind of insane. Um, you know, big battles, stuff like that, where, you know, Sobble kind of, you know, living back at L, which is gonna save it. Then, you know, uh, merging out for it and stuff like that. So I guess, you know, this can't see more Sobble's backstory, it's kind of scared about everything. Yeah, it's probably about everyone and everything, and Sobble, like, the actual first friend for the first time. I see kind of goes on about that, but I kind of like that, though, of course. Oh, I still like the animation right there, it's kind of cool. Of course, Sobble, um, taps into his inner strength and, you know, bends the freaking bars and stuff like that. Like he usually kind of does. Then, of course, um, you know, um, I think you're kind of a crime stun. And stuff like that, but yeah, that, that, you know, Mr. Mom kind of comes through when they call their, you know, scouters and machines and stuff like that, you know. Kind of like counteracting the whole crime thing for Sobble. Yeah. Other than that, you know, typical episode stuff, they beat Team Rock, they're like, heck, um, he yeeted on out of there. Of course, you know, Ghost kind of sorry for what he did. And of course, trying to be Sobble's friend, like he usually is, though. So, um, so, you know, be brave and be you know, stuff like that. But yeah, we got Team Rock, it's next fucking right here. You pick it, you rip off. I'm joking, though. But yeah. And that's pretty much the end of the episode. Again, the episode's pretty good, though. Again, I like the whole, you know, Girl Catching Sobble thing. Again, the episode's pretty good. The lighting and animation were always pretty good. Especially, um, Sobble's backstory and stuff like that, which I kind of like, though. Um, I'm sure it's gonna work. Of course. But yeah, um, again, like the whole Sobble stuff like that thing. That kind of like personally, it's great stuff like that. Of course, I do like the whole you know, Sabo stuff. You know, episodes, you know, kind of give me key, give me key, like the kind of thought. Um, you know, typical stuff like, you know, a lot of people are always sad, you know, Ash didn't catch it. Um, you know, that could be with her Ash was in the trailer and stuff like that. We got pretty much anything to put from the trailer onto the show pretty fast. We got, um, uh, Sony in the anime, we got, um, Sabo, of course, you know, Sabo, the whole Ash and Leo, I mean, Sabo thing and stuff like that. Of course, the rumors still going around, Spooky, you know, catching that. I'm actually having three keys and stuff like that. Again, we don't know too much about that just yet because we know the whole, you know, TJ and stuff like that. Like Dragonite, Pikachu, Mr. Mind. Uh, we, all, we all have, like, you know, actually having Mr. Mind and stuff like that because of the uh, you know, figures being kind of confirmed, like, you know, plus figures are kind of confirming that. You know, because I think Dragonite or Dragonair was one of them. Like, we were, like, keychain things. Uh, I know Dragonite was one of them. Um, Goofy was one of them, like, I'll ask the team, Mr. Mind, Pikachu. It's like, okay, and real, of course, it's one of them as well. So, yeah, I was really thinking Goofy could be next. Of course, it's also like, actually, I think Goofy would be awesome and stuff like that. That'd be really nice for him, though. You know, him um, going to Red Bloom and stuff like that. I always call it Red Bloom, or like Red Bloom. It's called Red Bloom, but I always call it Red Bloom. I don't know, it's always not, it was, that always how I pronounce it personally. But yeah, I do like it though. Of course, I do like, you know, I do like the show's heading right now in this direction. Again, Ash catching, you know, um, Dragonite, Farfetch, because it is first video very Farfetch, Galaxy Farfetch. Again, I'll look at the other videos right here. I am going to try to upload those in order. I got the Korean video, so I haven't uploaded it yet. Again, I'm, I'm going to try to get these videos out so that I can know, but yeah, again, I have like five other videos in the channel right now. Again, I do like this episode. That was pretty cool, pretty nice, though. Um, again, though, actually, you know, catching top and stuff like that. You know, big disappointing because everybody really wanted that. But, you know, go got it. You know, the animation with the backstory and stuff like that was really nice. I like it. You know, how it's kind of scary. Everything thing that go kind of, you know, kind of treats it in, like, you know, like, you know, that's your first friend and stuff like that. Maybe, you know, we got a bandit because, you know, we don't know that about Snipe and Tepic. You know, Tepic really got the worst of it. We got, like, certain and stuff like that. You know, the whole Pokemon abuse thing kind of coming up. And that's just too much on my That's his own thing. But, yeah. Um, again, just a little stuff like that, of course, you know, the whole Pokemon thing. I'm just kind of running on about it, because I kind of like doing this episode, though. You know, beautifully animated and stuff like that, like, always usually is, you know, that would be, you know, quite like it is, like, it always has been for the last few episodes. But, so I did the Leo and Ryan in the battle episode, which is what that was pretty cool, though. We got Sonya in the anime now. We got, I
far-fetched. Still goes over that again. The episode was pretty good though this time around. Ghost animation coloring. But near the end where we found like, you know, Pikachu clones like rip off. And it's like, oh crap, you know, when he gets mad and stuff like that. Because you know, we kind of see, you know, trying to clone stuff like that. And the ending, you know, I was like too much away end up catching it. More probably just, you know, because Jamie always catches like, you know, Pokemon that always kind of like fish, like, you know, water like Pokemon. Maybe Disney will catch it? When you're sure he has a rock on the so. I think. I can't really remember the Pokemon. Though. I can't remember. But yeah, I'll talk my hair right there. But yeah, again, the animation stuff like that was pretty good. So I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty nice and awesome. Again, though, like, encountering the whole Richard Mime thing, you know, just because, you know, Ash, you know, Ash has and stuff like that. Because yeah. you already know Ash has, you know, Pikachu and Mr. Mime, um, Dragonite, Rolu, I'm trying to go into one, Rolu, Farfetch, and, um, of course, I just had it in my head. I just had it in my head. I completely forgot about it. Probably. Um, I, I, like, I like to go in order first, and yeah, Goofy, because everybody's getting over from me. They already has, already has his Pokemon. Of course, he has Pikachu, Mr. Mime, Dragonite, and yeah, Dragonair, which he has fallen. Because it, it just got the flying type, Dragon and Flying, and he did evolve it fully to the final form and stuff like that in the, first, the whole episode. So, I thought it was pretty cool. Again, I made that video already, I just haven't uploaded it yet at all. But yeah, again, I think the episode was pretty good, though. I do like it, though, of course. Um, I, I don't know, I can discuss about this episode all day, but I don't want to speak too long about this stuff. But yeah, Pokemon my journey is going in a pretty good route, you know, journeys or, you know, um, Sword and Shield. And that, I love it. it's not called Sword and Shield anime, though. It's, everybody calls it Sword and Shield anime. Uh, Pokemon anime 2018, Journeys, which is the official name now, so you can kind of see that. You know, if I'm not going to the typical, you know, gaming, you know, game and um, anime kind of counterpart thing, yeah. Again, you know, though, um, Go Candy is awful and stuff like that was pretty good. Of course, you know, hopefully we'll see, you know, Ash got Rookie next, Rookie next, maybe. Again, we've been kind of going back and forth. We don't know, you know, before we know Chloe or Carl, because Chloe's her name is up the book of my journey. So, you know, Carl could catch it, but, you know, she's more of a side character, a girl thing, you know, not like, you know, fully interactive with her. Ash or Go, like, fully in the series. Yeah, Go more, but not really Ash. She's like, yeah, let's put it to the side. But, yeah, it's weird, because Go, like, I, I can't wait to make this joke, though. I'm glad they ended the video, because um, I'm trying to make this kind of joke. It was like, yeah, Go's gonna catch me with very first Pokemon. The Pokemon, like, the writers, like, writers, episode boards later. <laughs> Three Pokemon, Rabu, um, very little far fetch. But I didn't really make a reaction video for it because I didn't know about it. And, um, uh, Sobble. So, yeah, now, um, yeah, again, it'll probably go off like in, in, in Interior? I think Interior Pond or something like that. Interior? I think that was what it's called. But, yeah, again, though, I'm pretty good episode though. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and end the video here. I do like rambling on so, like, stuff like this in videos. I find it pretty fun though. You know, I'm kind of like getting, you know, in my YouTube. Fuck it, hello. I. Please do. Oh, God. I mean, but I don't know. It's just a little stuff like that. Yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great. All good to begin, though. Got some work I need to get back to. But yeah, um, of course, you know. Go catch me, like, what? Four is like his one Pokemon now, so, uh. Um, third Pokemon? You know, he got, like, side Pokemon, but still. His main goal is to catch you, you know, near the end of the series. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you know, Ganon and stuff like that, you know, what's up to do, um, um, trophy. Yeah. Um, go ahead and do it here. Yeah. See you guys later, though. You know. Peace out.